You're still watching ways now. A lot of businesses were affected during the lockdown, but some businesses like the logistics business have become very, very profitable. Now, in the space of one month, these companies have transformed from being a luxury to a connective tissue holding um, much of the economy together, especially as many business owners, big and small, are trying to connect to their customers. We still have with us Ejiro Jakwa and our guest, Anya. Yes. Anyanso. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Remember, you can join this conversation to us at uh, Plus TV Africa or at Way Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 Um Anyanso, you were explaining something to us during the break y yes. about how, why logistics registration is expensive. Exactly. And why it should be expensive. Why it should be expensive. So and tell us why, why it should be done. Okay. No, do you, excuse me, okay. do you support the fact that it should be expensive? Yeah. No, no, no. I support the fact that it should, it should be, be done. done. Okay, so but tell you know, us this why. Is Nigeria. Okay. Uh, why it should be done is because, like what I mentioned earlier on, where dispatch riders are sconed with people's items. One. Two, they can be nonchalant. A dispatch rider who is in a papa, you call him from Lekki and ask him, can you pick up in, in Surulere and deliver to Ikorodu? He will say yes. He has people's goods from a papa going to that lekki. He will go to lekki and start going to Surulere to pick up and go to Ikorodu. Meanwhile, you, the customer, you're there. Call him. Brand, no, uh, no, that I one has happened to me before. I've had a horrible experience. I don't even like. No, uh, uh, that you, that see, that's the part people do not like. Hmm. Especially, imagine you have a restaurant and the customer is calling. I want food now. Or perishable goods. Perishable goods. And person carries it. And by the way, takes extra, maybe a like a meal. Uh, let me just branch off here quickly and from there, and that call comes in, it's still my way. Let me just pick one more and before they know it, they've spent two to three hours. Some and of them, you tell them to go to Koi, they will go to Korodu first. First, of course, exactly. Maybe goods they didn't deliver two days ago, mm. failed delivery, they are, and they are under pressure to deliver it that day. So your own will wait because they've been calling him for the past two days On the other to one. meet up. So, so that, that is why that's it has one. to be regulated. Exactly, that's one. Because if there is a big body or a big company that absorbs all Korea logistics company, one, there is a person or a body, a company that is responsible so it's uh, almost like an and insurance. The company will insurance. Have an HR. Exactly, HR. There is a training. There is monitoring team. There is everything available. Now you don't call the rider, you call the company. The okay. company calls the rider and scolds the rider and tells the rider the language yeah, they understand. True. Because there are surcharges when they default. So we always remind them, you know, say your salary. He himself will know that he has to. And we monitor them. You put trackers. Uh, uh, there are trackers on the bikes that we have. There are other monitoring systems. We have supervisors who are also checking them. Then we use people who own these bikes. To also monitor them, we use uh, people on Instagram. If you see our bike, take a picture. Sometimes uh, somebody has called me. Your bike has been parked here for the past three hours, mm -hmm. and I've been waiting for this dispatcher to come out, and it hasn't come out. So it's that people also now because there's a one body that people are looking at. It's easy for them to put an eye mm -hmm. on that one company. Then the company manages a number of dispatch riders. Mm. That is what it's going to be in the so, future. So it should be like the business model of um, like Uber. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So okay. we have a question on WhatsApp. Inkechi said, I have used a lot of delivery service. I must say we, we still have a long way to go with mm -hmm. customer experience A lot mm -hmm. of uh, for a lot of delivery personnel. Adam is saying that I think real realistic cost per location should be transferred to customers. Most companies apply fixed costs with no consideration of the minimum distance. Mm. Um, that's from Adam. Felicia is saying the government should create an enabling environment for businesses not taking out all the oxygen to grow. Mm. Unified tax and registration system that is very clear and trans I mean unified that is very clear and transparent. Mm -hmm. I want to come to Ajiro. You are the business owner, right? What would you say is the ideal thing, if the government wants to regulate this logistics company, because it is integral to your business, and you cannot afford to start buying, uh, what's it called, bikes. bikes and all of that, and add logistics uh, overhead to your, um, your business. So what would you say would be the realistic thing that would help you work with logistics um, companies? I think for what would be then to take into consideration the size of a company and then 
charge them accordingly. Like I said earlier on when I was talking about it, I understand that they need to regulate it. I'm all up for that. But it's the manner at which it's done. And it's the fact that until I think um, some the certain um, group of people push back, it was set up a very high amount. The, the company level was set up at a very high amount. So I think for me what the government has to do say, okay, just like the uh, registration, is if you have one to three bytes, for example, one bite, you should be charged X amount to register. Yeah. If you have five to ten bytes, if you have over 20, if you have 50 to 100 bytes, so there should be a tier, a multi-tier system. And then um, give them a, a, a subtle landing. You know, so maybe give them like three to six months or whatever to, to, the to adjust. Yes, the, the compliance. So I'm not going to have to go to Somebody come up with a policy. Even though the policy may have existed two years ago, but it will come up and it's right. So this needs to go into enforcement on seven days. A lot of people don't even, don't even people didn't get information on that day, the seventh day. So give people time. Give people time. 30 days, I give them 90 days, give them 180 days, but give people time and then take into consideration what we are going through. I mean, right now, is not exactly the process of the world. So, yes, the logistics industry may be booming, but that's booming because people are following the government directive stay safe. Hmm. So, if you want to stay at home and stay safe, Make it easy, you know, make it so expensive because some people are not coming up as used. A lot of people are 50 percent Some are even on 25 percent salary. Then somebody wants to buy my product, and I tell them that oh, the price has gone up. You know, so there's a ripple effect to all of this. So for me, again, it's my um, ideal solution would be for them to reduce them. Looking at people, by Ijiro, I think we're having challenges um, hearing you, but we'd, we might have to leave the conversation there. Thank you so much for being part of us this evening. That's technology for you, network yeah, issues. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but she, she, she was making a valid point, and that was yeah. what I was yeah, trying that's to exactly. say. Exactly, I'm even going there. Yeah, I was because taxation is one of the reasons why the regulation is coming down really hard. Um, a rider like her rider, the one they just came up together to configure, uh, doesn't have an office and there's no way you can track that guy's income and how much tax the guy is owing the authorities. So this is one of the reasons why they want to regulate it and have a company where they can have an office, they know you, the tax uh, officers can come there and get their money, they know what you're doing because now what they're doing, they have to register one bike after the other with the Ministry of Transport. So they know the number of bikes you, you need have. Riders they know cars, everything. Which is different from driver's uh, uh, license. Like exactly. You need your you badge. Have, and I don't understand lot. why you have to register with all this local government after you've registered with, with the state government. Like I told you, these are all people coming in with their own offices. Why would with this local government? Everybody needs money. It's 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 a good business. The money is already there. All you need to do is then to you pick have things to go and to deliver. Post. You go to the local <laughs> government, you go to the state government, you have to go it, to the It's post. crazy. Now, let me come to what Ajiro was saying. Yeah. Cost. Cost. Okay, your food is 1,002. Delivering that food, 1,5. Hmm. It doesn't, doesn't tally. It doesn't tally. Now, uh, what we have done, like our own company, and that is also what I believe the government is trying to achieve, even though the ways they are going about it is totally, totally wrong. wrong. It's just yeah. the timing. Uh, just the timing. No, so it's not only time. No, it's time. Yeah, it's just the, layers. The, the, the exactly. I wrote something down, you know, when Adriel was talking, because she said that, okay, within her axis, they've yes. come, they've gotten a dispatch rider and all mm -hmm. of that. We have to understand that logistics should be tailored. Mm -hmm. It should be Localized. tailored to lo locality. So, for instance, if I'm delivering to Ikoi, I can decide to do, because you know these are high bro areas. But if you're going to deliver to a Jegule, you also, I think mm, it exactly. is also the, the costing and the pricing. No, you Nobody know why I'm saying that? Area. No, you know why I'm mm. saying that? Okay. I can decide to have a logistics guy within that as stationed there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. To be the cost position, now. to be the constant K there. So if there any, there's any delivery within that location, that's he the person that would, would... That's how it works so, in, in the real sense. That's yes. where I'm coming to when it comes to cost. Yeah. There, is, there are unforwardings and there are direct deliveries. 
Uh, for me, let's say for example, in our office in Ikeja, we have shipments coming from Computer Village, you have some coming from uh, you know, Paja. They all bring it to our hub at Ikeja. Then one bike moves it to the hub in VI, for example, or Ikoi. Now, there are goods that are going to Ibejuleki, some are going to. So once this guy brings it, it makes it very easy. Other bikes for Ibejuleki will just come and take Ibejuleki and face Ibejuleki straight, straight away. Yeah. They don't face Ikoi, some will face VI. It makes it fast, it makes it cheaper and far more affordable for MSMEs mm. like Ejiro. So if it's our food, we already know that this number of riders are covering Admiralty Way, Lekki. This one is on Freedom Way. This one is in Aja. So we already know. Once we receive a call for, for an order, we won't call somebody in Ikeja to go and pick up. We'll call somebody within that area. So it makes the pickup very fast. That's number one. Where other companies are getting it wrong. Pick up time. Response time. Then I, 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 I'm sorry to take you back. The issue of night pushed. Yes. You said the registration fee is 500,000. I, I don't know the fee per se, but you know, they have various charges. To go and get your draft, pay this, go and get that, pay this. Go and get then this. the capital base of 2 million naira. Well, How does that work? Are you going to pay to them? Well, I wouldn't. Or you're just required uh, uh, to have it? Well, I think it's just, you're just required. Okay, so Sami has said on sure? WhatsApp. <laughs> well, Sammy I says, think that should be for the government. Sami says, an approach that is data-driven for ease of management of process, um, address verification and security. So if they do data management, it will help to ease all of these things. But I wanted Ooh. to say something. In all of all this drama, people are making money from logistics. Yes. There's somebody out there that has 50 Okada from Gokada that is not using. So if I want to invest in the logistics business, how do I go about it? And where do I start from? Mm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real heavy question. Let Can me start I come from, to you and say, okay, take my 50 bikes? Exactly. No, there's a problem. Okay. Earlier on, when we started uh, the bike investment on our own company, we were taking bikes from people. But there was a problem. People give you substandard bikes, okay. bikes that you don't know the origin. Is there no minimum standard of bikes you There are 200 cc, but of course, you wouldn't know refurbished bike from brand new if you don't know. Mm. You ah. see a bike looks clean and brand new, you don't know the engine in it. You don't know the kind of chassis it has. Mm. It can just break into two, over two months. Yeah. So when we take these bikes from people and use it over one month, two months, it breaks down. In fact, some of them gave us as brand new, because then we're asking investors to go and buy the bike themselves. Knowing that we are Nigerians and we are in Nigeria, give him one to buy for you is a long story. So go and buy it. We give you specifications on things to buy, what to do. After purchasing the bike, you need to go and put the box on it. That means you're going to a different place to buy the box and mm. put on the bike. Mm. Then after that, you have to take both the bike and the box to the person that will install it. That is one. Then you now proceed to registration, which is difficult. And most of these investors are people who are working. They don't have the time to do all this. Even those that have the time don't have the energy mm. for the stress involved. Then after the registration, you now go and get your rider. You have to get your rider. Your rider has to be trustworthy, has to be competent. Must know the route. Lagos route. Yeah, Very well. I was going to say that. that Some of them can get lost here. Yeah. From here to here, mm. they are lost already. But with the advent of Google Map and G yeah. GPS, I mean, who's going to be not, buying the data? It, it not, all of, data not all of them. them. Some of them, you give them smartphones. We have our riders, we give them smartphones today, tomorrow they they lost, they've lost they, it. They, they've lost they, it. They'll go and sell it and tell you that they've lost, lost it. it. They, that's wow. the story. It's lost. So they come back to their Nokia touchlights. Mm. So your GPS, zero. So if an yeah. investor wants to start the business, so it means that you will not as absorb it. He should just go ahead and go through the registration process. That is if the person, some people are already ready and they are ready, they are ready to, to go and do that. They can go ahead. What registration face. do you mean? Licensing, plate oh, number. To start their own. Their own if they want to invest in the business. Because you don't bring it over to your company. That if they want to start, okay. there are two ways they can start. Okay. They can start with us. We give just give, money. We give, just give us the money. We do every single thing and give them their bike papers. Then we use their bike to run deliveries. Then we give them returns. returns yeah. And after one year, we return their yeah. bike to them because it belongs to them. But the only thing we are doing is that we are ensuring that it is our bikes because we have an assembly line and we are putting these bikes together in Nigeria. So we are sure it has three years lifespan and it's solid. So I can sleep and tell your bike is working, it's working. I can have access to the parts, and I'm sure. Now, if you give me your bike, 
and I'm not sure about the origin and wh where it has been to, who coupled it, how it was coupled, where it was coupled. I start having a problem with that bike, and I tell the investor, I'm not going to give you a returns because your bike is not working. The investor will not be happy. Mm. So they give us the funds. We have different business plans, which depends on the kind of returns that they want. We buy the bike. We do every single thing. Now, they don't need to bother about nine posts. Because it's our responsibility. So now using, so because I know a lot of people do pharmacies, exactly. right? So they, 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 take, um, they collect licenses from pharmacies mm -hmm. to open a pharmaceutical business exactly, exactly. without their license, but they are operating under the license. Under, exactly. So Even can I open with your license and run it with you and give you returns and all that? Yes, Since that is if we give them uh, the permission bike. to become our a franchise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can make them a franchise, they can open an express shop. But where do you see the okay, logistics so that business that be the going? The that's the future. Yeah, that's the future. Yeah. That's the future. Where, where do you see the logistics going business, the future of the logistics business? It is going to shut down a lot of businesses because um, we've tasted working from home and we've tasted working at the office. A lot of people prefer working from home, even though the work is more when you work from home. Mm. But people prefer to work from home. So in the future, there will be less traffic, there will be less movement, there will be more online stores. In fact, there will be more unified stores, more outlets, more storefronts. Then we have a central warehouse. Your storefront sells, central Income warehouse picks up. So kind of um, drop shipping system, that's where it's okay. going to. You don't need to have your bike, you don't even need to own the shop. That's the future of logistics. Just cool down, maybe open your platform, your interface, your User interface could be on Facebook, could be on Instagram, could be a website. That's all you need. You relax. Somebody buys from your interface. You already we already know where the item is. So, you just so we just go and pick up and go and deliver while you're still at home counting so your money. The owners will not be on us, the consumers, to ensure that we are going to the right website. That we're not going to the going to the exactly the uh, ex people. exactly. And again, but how do you recruit these drivers? Hmm. It's like you also, also business. Don't exactly, worry. No. After the show, you tell her how no. you recruit drivers. No, because I mean it's the same thing. It's just like what yeah, you exactly. said. Exactly. Just, just that the only thing is, I think where she's asking mm. from is, how do we make them stay? How do we make them ensure responsible? Ensure security. How do we ensure, ensure security of the business? This is part of the reasons why the government is mm -hmm. clamping down on that. Yeah, verification. Oh. Verification is key. In the verification stage, we do background check. We do uh, ten fingerprints capture. We do mock shorts. Uh, we do house address verification. We do uh, guarantors verification. Then there's another issue. I'm sorry. All right. I've had issues of bikers, riders, sorry, getting killed. And all exactly. That. Well, what we live in we, yeah. We live in a crazy society, but we always tell our riders when you go to deliver because you can't you can't don't avoid problems. Not even houses. don't go in. Be careful. Be security. Watchful. So, are there Be some conscious. areas that you decline? There are areas you decline. You could do, for example. There are some areas you could do. the second operator that's still they will, today. They will, but we have riders that, that do also Ikorodu. match them. Yeah. They live in Ikorodu. So, yeah. once we get terrain. to Ikorodu garage, know that terrain. We, have, that we have a hub in a garage. So, they just come to the Ikorodu garage and pick up things and go to the hinter yeah. and deliver. So, I it makes it very easy. I think we can, we can uh, leave it there. But I would just like to say that for me, I think there's ev every business has its pros and cons. But the truth is that the future is logistics. See what Amazon did. When this lockdown happened, it expanded. Ham Amazon was hiring people well, while other companies we, we, we were hiring. We were disengaging. We were engaging services. We were hiring, you were hiring well. people as In fact, well. I, I want to talk about the value chains yeah. uh, uh, as well. Let's talk about other aspects of this business, like call Quickly, centers. Yeah. We were hiring call centers. Those ones who their job is to receive calls. Okay, where are you delivering to? Where is it going to? Okay, they now use our portal to book. The bike will move. It's a job people were doing from home during this lockdown, and they made their money. Uh, we have those who became express shops. Mm -hmm. We have those who became location ambassadors, those ones who became uh, business managers for various merchants, mm. like Ejiro. Yeah. She needs bike, she knows who to call immediately. The bike is there immediately because the person is managing Ejiro and other MSMEs within a particular locale. Absolutely. So it's easy. So that's, that's the future mm. where we create buffers, hubs, that services people. Mm. The cost will be cheaper and the response will be faster.
Awesome. Awesome. I think we can leave it there. So for wow. anyone that is out there looking for a job, logistics companies, they are hiring. We are, hiring. Honestly, we are still hiring. Yeah, they are still hiring. Yeah. Still hiring. Yeah. They are ready boom, to do business. Boom, because right. that is the future. We must accept it and embrace it and be smart about it and know the right companies also to, to, to talk to. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really, I really, I really mean, had fun yeah, with the I show. Same, and yeah. thank you to Ejiro as well. Um, we had to let her go because of the network oh. issues, but it, it was a good so show. Good. Thank Great. you so much. So please Please watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very insightful conversation on Lamy Day. Oh, I really had fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Waze Show Africa or at Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you were saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. The line between disorder and order lies in logistics. That's from Suzu. Yeah. So they are here to put order in our lives. Catch uh, us live hmm. next week, Friday. You don't want to miss it. We have an amazing special guest that is coming to join us next, next week, um, Friday. So let's keep a date next week, Friday. See you at 8 p.m. live. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>